And there is an audio recording, which he's, according to the reporting, he's at Bedminster Golf Course saying, I have these documents, the Iran, our plan, I can't show it to you all, oh, it's classified, I'll tell you about it a little bit. And then that document is missing now, because DOJ goes and subpoenas it, and it's missing. And you're like, this might be an important document. So you're right, there could be something out here. We're assuming he didn't give it to say Saudi. Well, we're assuming he didn't do it. And that could be, we can find an even darker, more sinister thing going on here. We just don't know yet. Well, Dean, I think, first of all, apparently that document drowned or something, uh, but um, it, it doesn't matter because what, it, what does matter is that he admitted that he understands how declassification works and he didn't care. Um, but we also, I, of course it matters whether or not documents changed hands and whether money exchanged hands uh, for those documents. But I think just what happened, the egregious agreement between the PGA and Live Golf uh, is also evidence that he might have documents that he's holding in exchange for favors from Saudi Arabia. I mean, we know that Jared Kushner got $2 billion for nothing because he has no expertise. He has no ability to, to do anything that would um, warrant his receiving $2 billion from Saudi Arabia. So clearly there is something going on and uh, hopefully Jack Smith's getting to the bottom of it, but we certainly, I think we're at the, the end of the beginning of this whole saga.